Hallo bei Kimmer 42. Bei meiner Reise durch die USA auf der Suche nach interessanten Lösungen bin ich jetzt im tiefsten Kansas angekommen. Und Barack Obama, der ja hier nicht wirklich viele Freunde hat, genauer gesagt nur drei von 105 Wahlbezirken für sich gewinnen konnte, der hat ja letztens von einer Welt ohne Atomwaffen gesprochen. Und da stellt sich natürlich auch gleich die Frage, was denn dann aus den ganzen Abschussanlagen werden soll. Und man soll es nicht für möglich halten, aber hier im tiefsten Kansas habe ich jemanden getroffen, der dafür eine interessante Wiederverwertung gefunden hat. My name is Edward Payton and I'm uh, here in central part of Kansas living in a decommissioned Atlas missile site. This is the heavy steel door that leads us into the missile area. And actually as we come in here, there are two doors. There is another door also, very secure. Is where the missile was. There was a, an Atlas rocket, uh, 70 feet long, laying on its side in this room. This is a picture of the warhead, four megaton hydrogen bomb. You can see the mechanism here. The yellow stuff is right over there. You know, they couldn't find any weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. But we had one at our house. So come this way. This is the way down to our, to our home. This is a launch control panel. Here we could call the president and ask him if he is sure. To start the Third World War here, this, this says here, roof open, missile erected, flame deployed. Like the door, that flame pit, we want to open that. And here is power to the missile. And, and here, commit. This is the launch control room. 10 million people in a Russian city could be killed from this room. It was very strange. And so what we did, we tried to bring in some of the world's spiritual symbols. Our home has over 6,500 square feet of floor space. When we bought this place, it was flooded and rejected, and we, we recycled. This is a big room. We call it the Great Room or the Temple Room. And, and we have this stage uh, we like to do drum circles here. We, we like to play music in this room. A lot of the present day missile site structures are really much, much smaller. And those sites are being imploded and filled in. They, were, they are not going to be usable for retrofit. The missile sites that are the very best for retrofit use, they were active in the early 1960s. They needed a large space, and they actually make wonderful home sites. And we have a company, 20th Century Castles, and we have uh, several of these underground nuclear-proof structures for sale. And if you would like to live in a very, very protected structure that redefines the meaning of shelter, we can help you.